Well, welcome to The Roots. This is a specially designed program for discovering our roots in Africa. And I'm not going to say much because we are loaded in the studio today. We have amazing, amazing people and who are experts in this subject that we're talking about, about The Roots. On my right, <laughs> we have Bishop Nathaniel, otherwise known as the General. You know, in South Africa, we say the general, yeah. And uh, on his far right there, we have Deacon Malachi. So if you know Malachi 3, <laughs> that's the man. <laughs> now, Israel united in Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, when I see the two, I hear Israel and I hear Christ. Mm -hmm. When did the two merge? They've always been together. Christ right. was an Israelite. Right. Uh, remember, he was of the tribe of Judah when you read Hebrews 7.14. Right. Uh, which is what tribe we come from, the right. tribe of Judah. We are that people. We are the people of Christ. Right. Okay. And that's never been taught in the earth at all. No, no, no. That's very interesting. So, so, so when did you discover that, that we are the tribe of well, Judah? Me, you're talking me myself personally yeah. in the 1990s when I first heard of it right. because I'd been g g brought up in a Christian church right. worshipping the image of the beast white Jesus right. that yeah. all of you majority of people in South Africa worship the right. image of the beast right. um, that has subjugated and destroyed and oppressed our people I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Recha HaKwadash and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone honors as well to you brethren, your fellow believers of this truth and shalom to the elect. So anyway, uh, I got the idea of this video from GMS Apostles Indoors Indoor Ministry 9-7-2024. Now, as you can see, I, I'm showing these clips of uh, East Africa, Sudan, Kenya. I, I believe I put that in there, I'm not sure. But um, according to the scripture, you know, the question is now in 2024, do we go, and this is what the scriptures say. Uh, watch, what the, watch what the scriptures say. Let's go to Matthew 28, 9, 19. It says, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy and, uh, and the Holy Ghost, right? Um, this proves there's no Trinity. It says here the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. So that's another scripture. So according to doctrine, um, to these guys' doctrine, should they just stay in South Africa or, uh, uh, or West Africa? Should they just be flying to Africa and saying, I think the title is Wake Up Africa? Well, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. It says, let's see what the scripture says. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end, um, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And that there thou shalt serve other gods. So even in Kenya or um, Sudan, our people are there too. So if you're going to teach the whole gospel and you're going to go into the lands and leave the country to teach you need to go everywhere right you need to go to China because our people are in China right the lost souls you need to go in Russia if they allow you <laughs> you need to go in other parts of the Middle East you need to go to Iran right you got to go to the Philippines because a lot of our people there at the Philippines believe it or not you got to go various other places. Now, that's a great millstone through the uh, firmament and uh, the, the unicorn and the internet. We're doing that. And the Lord gave us, you know, he gave us the ability to do that. What do you think the internet's for? Yes, it's for left-hand folly, but it's also for righteousness. Now, to be honest, uh, I try not to blame until I examine, um, you know, checking to see does do they go into other countries and um, different parts of Africa? I just haven't seen it. So if that's the case, then that's what it is. But the whole point, you'll see the point of the video that I'm trying to make. But go rather, uh, let me go 10 and 5, all of you in the no-notice scripture. 
Uh, it says, These twelve Yahawashah sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not in the way of the Gentiles, and in, in any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right? Rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel ain't just in West Africa. So if you're going to go with that ideology, you're going to go with that mindset, you got to travel the whole world and wake up the people. All of our people ain't in West Africa. <laughs> sure, uh, the slave ships came out of there. And even before the transatlantic slave trade, you had the sub-Saharan slave trade. You had the so-called Arabs, so-called Arabs. You had those, um, those slave traders who was trading us back, who was, had their hand in the eastern uh, part of Africa slavery and various other parts. So you could see there was a serious scattering. So do you then just look towards the ones, and when you, if you gotta leave the country, do you then leave the country and go look towards the ones that you see that came out of West Africa? Uh, but according to this, uh, the slave trade and how things went, we wasn't all just in Africa, right? Before then as well. We dispersed into Europe, right? Various We was in Russia. We was in various parts of the globe. So are you going to be hypocritical and just go to one people if you're going to leave the country? My point I'm saying is the Americas is where the heavy uh, slave trade took place and where the majority of the Israelites have been scattered to, has been brought over here on slave ships and, of course, through the islands. We don't even have to go roll over to the islands. There's brothers in Great Millstone and other Israelite groups that has woken up on in Jamaica or, or Haiti or various other places. See, this goes to the point, um, when you go to Matthew 23, you know, these are the guys that are so arrogant, right? They're not really, really following behind Yahweh Shah. Right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's why he calls on the name Christ. And let's be honest. He believes he's waking them up. He's not trusting in the Holy Spirit to wake them up. And and the reason why he used this Christ, because it's so deceptive that our people can identify with Christ, and then that would bring them out of the church and into their congregation because they hear the same name Christ. Right. Now, and of course, when you first hear the truth, you don't know the name Yahweh Shai, but I know me personally, when I came into the truth and I saw that false identity, that false image, I know that even though I wasn't in GMS at the time, but I saw that false image, they were still calling on Christ as I was in the comfy school. They were still calling on Christ for a short time, maybe a week or so. Uh, two, maybe a month. I can't remember how long it was in there. It was a very short time. But then when I heard the name Yahweh I said, well, there is no way we can link Christ, that name Christ, to the new image. There's no way. And why wouldn't these guys want to continue? Why wouldn't these brothers want to continue in the name, the Hebrew name, to the best of your ability? Let's say he's going to give us a new name. Then you then do you then abandon the old name? But when you go to Matthew 23, it says they could pass sea and land to make one a proselyte. Um, man, let me get that. It's somewhere in Matthew 23. You know, so my point is, if you're going to go out and you're going to reach the people instead of trusting in the Lord to wake them up instead of ourselves, we're just tools. Then you got to go where you can't be hypocritical. You got to go where all the people are at. Unless he's rolling up in Russia or you're rolling over in uh, East Africa and Sudan and unless you're rolling over there with the mud people and you know trying to <laughs> trying to wake them up the ones that putting their faces of cows behinds and stuff like that but remember our, our Lord what did he say thou shall serve other gods right which thou have not known whether wood and stone right so that means we'll be in Africa doing those um, hideous traditions in certain parts of Africa right it says war unto you 
blind guides would say, well, let me go here. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. You can pass sea and land to make one a proselyte. And when he is made, you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Right. They put burdens on people, all kinds of garbage is going on in these in this camp, you know. And I'm not here to hate IUIC. I'm not saying that. The same way they say the same thing. We're not here. We don't hate you, brothers. We really love those brothers. We want them to, to repent like Deacon Akar. They always talk about how they don't hate us and they love us. But they continually talk trash. Now, when you look at this video, I can probably pick out a few that I might say that might be a Jake up in that, them, 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 them Eves. Oh, well, them heathens. Then they, I, you can look and see, hey, well, maybe not every Israelite can dance either. I'm not saying that, but it's the rhythm, the flow, the spirit. It might be some there too. You really just can't say that we all in one location. You really just can't say that. Just like we know all the Israelites ain't in uh, America. You really just can't say that. They're all over. But the hub is here. As, they, as like Amazon, eBay, they are main hubs. Uh, from different stores, from central stores, right? Um, let's go to, it says, um, Go ye therefore, I'm going to read that, Matthew 28, 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. I had to repeat that because now all nations are scattered everywhere. We see this in Revelation 7 and 9. If you're really about reaching the elect instead of just everybody, Right? You would do what was told for you to do. It says Matthew 22 and 9. Go ye therefore to the highways and the hedges and bid to the marriage. It's that simple. The scriptures talk about the simplicity in your house shop. Right? So, you know, the IUIC, y'all got a lot of traveling to do. Which to me is all an act. It's all a show. That is my opinion. It's all an act and show. So to show the people. And, you know, and... I will be honest that Western Christianity in Western Africa, West Africa, is the worst. I will give credit on that. They have the our people that's there. They have the worst kind of Christianity on the planet. But you have to trust in the Lord. Remember the Apollos planted, but Yahweh shall give the increase. Yahweh Yahweh gives the increase, right? Let's go to Ezekiel. 22 and 15 it says I will scatter thee among the heathen and disperse thee in the countries and will consume thy filthiness out of thee right so the Lord said he's going to do that so we're amongst the heathen so do you trust in the Lord right as the scripture said do you trust follow the first commandment as they talk about the commandments love the Lord with all your heart might soul and strength which means you wouldn't be calling on Christ but you trust in the Lord to use you as a vessel to wake the people up? Or do you want to claim to be yourself thinking you're doing the work of an evangelist and going all over and just going flying way over across the waters? Remember, the Lord brought us over here on the waters. And this is where we're at. And the truth came out of New York up in that uh, sector or that region, that part of, of this country. So all you have to do is put the camera up how did I wake up? Ain't nobody come uh, and knock on my door to wake me up to the truth. I saw it on YouTube. Right? Well, before uh, the internet, when I came in the truth, the internet wasn't popping like that. So I had a friend that uh, a guy I knew from school, and he just happened to come to my job that I was working at. I had a, you know, I was contracting, and he drove a truck, and he said, hey, man, you know, did you know you was you a Hebrew Israelite and this and that. I said, Nah, I didn't know that. And it, and it was other people showing me about Jay Z, the, the you know Illuminati, and you know all these things that was uh, the, in the industry. So I you know I took to it and I said, Well, I'll, I'll look at it, but I didn't join right away. So the spirit has to be with you, right? So anyway. I wanted to make this quick. I will scatter thee amongst the heathen and disperse thee in the countries while I consume will I consume thee. Let's go to Isaiah 55. I mean 11, Salakia in 11. 
And it shall come to pass in, in that day, saith the Lord, uh, the Lord shall set his hand again the second time and recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Himoth and of the islands of the sea. Right? And he shall set up the sign for the nations and he shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. See, the thing about it, he didn't need us to come out on the highways and wake the people up. This is all a form of tune up, keeping in tune, staying in the spirit, staying close to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right? Because if we just sat back, this is all a part of being brothers and gathering togetherness, and gathering yourselves together as men of the Lord. How do you do that? You have to bid to the marriage. Right? That's why he says, bid to the marriage. Go ye therefore to the highways and hedges. Bring in both bad and good. These guys all just flying in the country, uh, Africa, trying to wake up every goddamn African. And by the way, we got brothers over there that found out the truth. Brothers in Britain, brothers in Germany, and various other places. Philippines, you know, Hawaii. Come on now. These guys are making it more difficult than what it is because it's not difficult, right, even to them because they have an ulterior motive while doing this. It looks good. It looks good in numbers. It looks good in people. It, and they'll say, you know, GMS, you're the biggest haters, man. You just hate on your people. You hate on your brethren. All you always saying is the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. You know, I remember hearing that. All you got to do is, uh, um, let me read this real quick. I'm going to read this out of another translation. Um, the Berean Standard Bible, I like that one along with the NIV, NLT, the G-O-D. Um, it says, but I am afraid lest any means as a serpent in his craftiness deceived Eve. You remember the scripture in Matthew when he says, um, if anyone say, Lo, this is Christ, believe him not, go ye not after them. Yeah, you got to take that in consideration. It says, Your minds might be corrupted from the simplicity and the purity in Yahawasha. Right? Let me read that again. But I'm afraid, let me go to the, uh, I'm going to go to another translation as well. However, God's Word translation, one of, one of my favorites. However, I'm afraid that as the snake decide, it was not a snake, but I'm afraid as the snake deceived Eve by its tricks, so your minds may somehow be lured away from the sincere and pure devotion to the Messiah, Yahweh. So all them extra gimmicks, right? Those are tricks and, and deception. And the simplicity and sincereness and pure devotion in Yahweh. He didn't say to do all that. There was no internet back then. And then there was certain locations that even Paul and him went. All right, come on, man. And then there was a time he said, go not into in the city of Samaria. Samaria. Matthew 13 said it was, it was given to you to know the mystery, but to them it's not given. It was only for the elect anyway. These guys are not even considering that it's just about the elect. They just think it's just wake up a whole bunch of black people. What good is that going to do if the Lord said many are called but few are chosen? That's all I have on that. Shalom.